Huge thank you to my four <laughs> members on YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. Sup? Do you like playing pranks on your viewers? Do you want to make them think that your stream froze only to make yourself suddenly peek from behind? Or do you want to tell your viewers in a fancy way that the current episode of Streamer's Bizarre Adventure is over for the day? Well, stay tuned to this episode and I'll teach you. How's it going guys? Hope you all have a fantastic day. My name is Desynchro. Guys, tonight I'm going to be teaching you all how to do two awesome effects using the freeze filter from the legendary Exeldra. This is an awesome filter that freezes a single frame on your live stream and it opens up the opportunity for you to do so many wacky things. Tonight I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do those two little effects that you saw in the intro in your OBS. Guys, I'll also be uploading the to be continued video file for you to use in your streams on my Discord. So get your cute face over there and grab yourself that file there's also a bunch of other goodies over there that you guys can get a hold of that's my gift to you guys for being absolute cuties and guys if this video ends up helping you in any way consider liking and subscribing to the channel also share it around with your streamer friends so they can learn something new too all right let's get this started what do we need very very simple requirements guys the number one thing that we're going to need is obviously exeldro's freeze filter plugin and the second thing that we're going to need is Zaymar's stream effects plugin as we're going to be using the source mirror feature in that plugin both links are going to be on the description for you guys installing them as a breeze head over to their respective web pages and click download in the top right Exeldra's plugin can be downloaded directly from the website. I personally prefer installing via zip file rather than the installer since you can easily click and drag on the files straight into your OBS directory. StreamFX's download will take you to the GitHub. So once you're in the GitHub, scroll down until you see assets, choose your operating system and click on download. If you're on Windows, it should be an EXE. Run that EXE and install it to your OBS directory. Now, once you're done with that, let's head over to OBS. All right, guys, so we got a brand new OBS open, so let's get this started. We're going to make this effect first. This effect requires you to either have a real green screen or a virtual green screen. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on how to do a virtual green screen in this video. If you wanna learn how to do it, check out my video on the fake TV. It'll teach you exactly what you need to make a virtual green screen and much, much more. First, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this with a real green screen. First, let's make a new scene and let's call it webcam. Next, record a few seconds of your room without you in it. Add the recording of your room as a media source and make sure that it's looped. Now add our camera with the green screen, click plus on the sources and add a video capture device and let's name it camera. Now you would be adding a video capture device if you had a green screen. I'm doing it in a slightly different way because I don't have a real green screen so I'm just emulating a real green screen. Right click on your video capture device and go to filters, click the plus on filters and go to chroma key. Add a chroma key to get rid of the green. Down on sources again, click the plus and add a source mirror. Link that source mirror to your camera. This is the order that you want your sources in. You want your source mirror at the top, your camera in the middle, and then the recording of your room at the bottom. Now right click your source mirror, go to filters, click the plus and head over to freeze. On the freeze filter settings, make sure it's toggled on and make sure that enabled freeze and disable freeze is set to activate and deactivate and on show a hide, enable and disable. And once you're done, all you have to do is turn on the source whenever you want yourself to be frozen. Whenever the source is on, you'll be frozen and whenever it's off, well, it'll go back to normal. But now let me teach you guys how to do this if you have a virtual green screen. If you are using the virtual green screen method, you can completely skip the recording your background step. To do this with your virtual green screen, first of all, add your camera, then make a source mirror and link that source mirror to your camera. Basically the same thing that we did before. Then this is what you have to do. Right click your source mirror, go to filter and add the virtual green screen filter. Next, head over to filters again, go over to freeze, add a freeze, and then simply set the settings that we did last time. Now, whenever you want to freeze yourself, all you got to do is turn on that source mirror. And there you go. Super easy, right? I hope you guys are still following. Now let's do the to be continued effect. This effect is a little bit more tricky to do because you're gonna need something that can run a macro like your stream deck, for example. But don't worry, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to set it up on your stream deck. First, let's make a brand new scene called to be continued. 
Next, click the plus in the sources and let's add a media source. We're going to be adding our to be continued animation. Let's add the to be continued animation that I gave you guys. Click on browse and look for it. If you guys want to be able to hear the music on your OBS, that's very easy to do. Right click the audio, go to advanced audio properties, and then change the audio monitoring from monitor off to monitor and output. Now inside the scene, let's make a new source mirror and let's link it to our camera again. Bring it behind the animation, right click on it, go to filters, click the plus and simply add a freeze filter to it. Following the same settings that we had before, enable disable, enable disable, and there you go. Now at this point, feel free to add any other filters that you want, any color filters, color correction, color grading. Whatever you want, just have a play around with something that you really, really like. And you're free to resize this as well to your liking. Now go back to your webcam scene, head over to sources, click the plus, choose scene, and let's add our to be continued in here. Awesome, on the OBS side of things, we're done. Let's head over to our stream deck and make this work. On your stream deck software, head over to the stream deck tab, add a multi-action switch. On your multi-action switch, bring in a source switch. Make sure it says activate. Head over to scene, go to to be continued, and the source to be continued animation. And come over here, add a delay, change your delay from 1000 to 3800, and then add another source switch. Make sure it says activate, select the scene to be continued, and the source, source mirror, right? Now let's make a quick off switch. Click the number two up here, add two source switches, make sure both of them say deactivate. And then what we're doing is we're basically deactivating the animation as well as a source mirror. And there you go. Now we have a switch that turns the effect on and off. And now when we press the button, this is what's going to happen. And once you press the button again, it'll automatically turn the effect off. And that's it. That's how you can install the freeze filter plugin and how to make two awesome effects with it. I hope the video helped and I hope you guys have a fun time playing around with the plugin. There are so many awesome things that you can create with this plugin, but these are just some of them. You just gotta get creative. Tell me some of the crazy things you're thinking of creating down in the comments. I'd love to hear some of your ideas. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was able to help you or a friend of yours in any way, shape or form. If you guys have any questions and want to learn more, come check us out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays starting at 4 p.m. Australia West Standard Time. I'd love to see you there. That's all for this video, friends. I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing stream. And if you guys want to check out some more cool tutorials and learn how to do some really awesome things with your OBS, you're doing yourself a disservice by not checking out these two videos. Trust me, you won't regret it.